Everybody's probably watching or washing. Yeah. Put this a uh, little bit more. Do, do, do. Do do We got one person on. This is why. Figured I'd try this out, see if we get a little bit of a hit action. We got 8,000 subscribers. So it's a pretty big deal. It's been a little minute since I've been on live, especially. I don't even remember the last time I did a live. I'll check this chat out in a minute. As more and more people are coming in, we're getting this roof cleaned up. Hopefully no one's knocking the way I'm doing this. This is just uh, because I got one hand and I don't got my mask on so I'm trying to keep uh, away from the spray. Usually I'd fan this a little bit, you know, I'd be a little closer. But see if anybody likes this kind of stuff. Live action. Yee, 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 yee. Seven people on, only two people liked. I need some more likes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every... Let me tell you one thing about YouTube that's really uh, kind of hard, man. Is like, especially a guy running his business, this stuff can get very stressful. Running your own business, as most of you probably know. And then, like, you know, you put you, you put your time in, you, you make these videos, and then, you know, most of the comments are from love. You know, people understand and they appreciate. But you get a lot of hate. And, you know, the hate, I don't let it get to me, but at the end of the day, it kind of does, man. It just kind of discourages you from putting yourself out there at times, you know. Sometimes you don't feel like reading comments like, oh, you're not doing it right. You know, most of these people don't even work. The ones like knocking you for cleaning something the way it is like sorry dude if you live in uh, you know maine or seattle washington and you clean shingle roofs every day don't knock me for the way i clean tiles you don't you don't understand the difference you know what i'm saying so that shit gets old but anyway i hope everybody's doing well just wanted to check in I do have a good amount of video that I've been taking from the jobs I'm doing, but I just haven't had time to really sit down and edit. So I'll, I plan on getting that done and uh, we'll uh, put some more videos out. But like I said, it takes a lot of time. And yeah, so I'm sure you guys get it, but look how clean this roof's already getting. I literally started spraying as soon as I went live, so that's how long we've been doing this for, if you're just tuning in. Um, I see some of the comments coming across, so if you guys can hear me alright, give me a thumbs up or something. But yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. But anyway, point being, I got a bunch of video. I can edit, I, I'll put some uh, time and edit it and, you know, start uh, posting more, so... But it's funny because this roof I'm doing today was a referral from this roof. And I did this about a year, probably a year longer ago. And he found me because of YouTube. So, pretty cool stuff. And I was like, well, let me go live. And I see I have 8,000 subscribers, so that's pretty dope.
my worker couldn't show up today, so I'm doing this by myself. So the way I do it is I'll just clean basically the top and as close to the edge as possible without anything running off. And then I'll go finish the edge, I'll go around the house, the edge, do the edges, then hop down and rinse everything real well. And that usually been working out if you're solo. Don't recommend it, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Clean my hose up a little bit. Oh yeah. Plus I don't have my mask on so I can talk and I don't want to spray, you know, such a wide fan pattern and be all up close and breathe it in. So I can keep my distance here, see? And like I said, when I'm done doing this all around, I'll go down towards the bottom of the roof and spray upwards real quick, get the edges, and then voila, roof complete. And then I'll obviously rinse everything. This house got gutters, so shouldn't be an issue. It is hot though. It's a really hot day. When you're Irish and a roof cleaner, you know what hot days feel like, you know what I'm saying? But then we'll knock this roof out in no time. All angles. From all angles. got 11 people and six likes yo if you're watching hit the like button it's not hard to do i could be listening to a podcast instead of this <laughs> nah just kidding well kind of but i don't know about you guys but the coolest thing about washing is you could just put whatever you want on in your headphones man and just zone out i don't i seriously um like i love what i do I'd rather, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, you do need days off and stuff like that. And, you know, when you get burnout, you get burnout. But that's usually because it's a mixture of, like, too much work and a lot of stuff going on, you know, in your personal life. But this is therapy for me. Um, getting out here, just listening to a podcast, or even just right now doing a live video. Um, you know, I'm sure I'll get some haters saying I'm not, you know. You're spraying it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Why are you doing it like that? You shouldn't be doing that. And then, but most of you get it, especially if you're from Florida. Washing in Florida is not like uh, washing shingles. It's much different. And the reason why I'm, you know, going from one side to the other is just because I don't want much dripping going on. As I said, I don't have someone on the ground. Now, I did pre-rinse, and I'll rinse really well after. But if you notice, if you go back and forth, you just kind of like spray paint. You just do one little layer at a time and just keep, like, look how much I've already done. <laughs> and I started this roof when I started the live, so I don't see what the time is, but I'm guessing probably not even 10 minutes. So... If anyone's in the chat, just comment how long this video has been going. And that's how long we've been doing this. But, you know, setting up is crucial. That's the important part. You want to make sure, obviously, you have a ground guy rinsing. And then if not, you got to pre-rinse. And, you know, and then the, the, the main key is also rinsing after you're done. Because, you know, and then also rinse at least you know you want to at least rinse a third of the roof off because if it rains just a little bit all that salt's coming down while you know 
the landscape could be bone dry and it rains just a little bit you're screwed because that salt's coming down so i like to rinse the landscape really well and then while that's wet rinse like a third of the roof if not more and then uh re-rinse the landscape i mean because when you have an eight gallon well or even some people have like 10 12 gallons a minute it don't take long to rinse uh you know the plants enough so they're safe it's crazy because in florida ugh, Hey Blake, how you doing? Hey, doing good. How you doing up there? Good. Everything good? Yeah, we've got a tree guy coming out for a proposal, so. Which one? This tree? Both of these. Cut, take, uh, falling them down right, like all the way or cutting them back or what? No, just trimming them, trimming them. And... Gotcha. So they're staying. You're just trimming them. Yeah, we're just trimming them. Gotcha. Yeah. It's crazy to have that bug man here. Yep, it's a busy day. <laughs> well, that's why you get it all done. I got AT&T at my house today. Our, our internet's been down for a couple days and I think a wire's down. So that's, that's been a headache. Yeah. So I feel your pain. All right, man, let me know if you need anything. How's the roof look good? Yeah, it's coming out good. Customers. He's really cool, this guy. Like I said, he was a referral. So he, you know, he knows I do good work. And that's the best, man, when you when you know you got, uh, when the customer knows you do good work, they just kind of let you do your thing and they're very appreciative and you just go above and beyond. And that's how the cycle continues. And he'll tell, you know, this neighbor or that neighbor. And yeah, so that's how it works, man. Just do good work and if you're slow, Take your time. Leave your truck parked, your signs out for a while, and take your time. Uh, if you're doing someone's roof, maybe do their driveway and patio at the same, you know, even though they didn't ask for it and they're not paying for it, just do it. It'll keep you out there longer. And I'm a big believer in karma and energy and stuff like that. So the more energy you put out, the more you will get in return. So, yeah, that's my belief on that. But yeah, you can see this roof's already, uh, you know, we're getting there. And I'm doing it one-handed. So, I'm probably shut this down in a little bit. I don't think many people are on here. But, hope everybody's doing well in these crazy times of the world. I'm going to put my mask on for a minute here. It's crazy in Florida. 
in Florida, when you spray these tiles and you're and you step on top of them, you can feel it's like a sauna of fucking chemical. So, put my mask back on. Sometimes you can see the steam too. There we go. We're getting there. Yeah, so pretty much just need to get the edges done. Um, but we got a tree proposal going on. So. All right, guys. Anyways, hey, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Joe. I'll leave a card when I'm done. Yeah, I'll hop over. I don't even need to take the ladder down. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off because i got to hit these edges and then rinse. Um, but, anyway. Let's see if I can flip this around. Hit the like. And I do have some video that I can put together and edit, make uh, make an actual video. It's been a while, crazy. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, peace. I think I just hit X. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Uh, yes, yes, please, yes. Oh. Are you, yes, yes.